5.30 in the morning, which is super early for me since I normally don't go to work till noon. Um, I'll have to get some some uh, car parts. I've actually been collecting and ordering over the weekend, sitting over there on the table. A bunch of pop car parts and today we're going to go and get some. First we're going to walk the shop dog mags. As you can see, very dark. Alright guys, um, like I said in there, um, gonna get some parts. I'm gonna tell you what they are yet. And at the end of the video, I'll do like a little display of them all on the table in there. So uh, everybody can see them. There y'all can see them very well. I'm very tired. I didn't get off work till midnight. Didn't fall asleep probably till 1.30. So it's 5.56 right now. So I'm tired. And then I gotta go back to work today at noon and work till about midnight. We'll see. And it's about two hours away from my work, which is I'm going to park up there and someone else is going to drive because Subaru not good gas mileage. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, now we're at work and trying to figure out how to set up the GoPro for a little time lapse action. What you doing, Carlos? Uh, nada. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Well, for me. Okay. All right, we're uh, about to pull up to get the car part that y'all don't know about yet. At least not my video. No, not my video. Yeah, what kind of part will we be getting at a sand, sand and gravel place? Some kind of sand and gravel, maybe some rocks that we can do spin outs uh, with our low horsepower vehicles. I'll have to wait and find out. Alright, we're leaving the sand and gravel place. Um, not showing what we got yet, which will be later in the video. Carlos got him some gas station food. Driving. Uh, I'll give you a little hint though. Uh, there's a part number on it, and it starts with a G. Start getting till later. <laughs> anyway, so we're making the next two-hour trip back to Denton, Texas. We came all the way out here to Paris, Texas. And I gotta go to work. Awesome. All right, well, yeah, fine. all right, we're gonna make a quick little pit stop here. Uh, we saw some cool stuff on the way up here, so we're going to make a pit stop and check some of the stuff out. What well, I'm being that awesome badass plane there. Old ass plane. Can't tell if that's a house or not. Or is that a business? What's going on guys? Um, as you saw, I got up really early this morning. Uh, about 5.30. And <clears throat> headed out to get some car parts. Then I had to go to work and work a 12 hour shift. Right now it's 12.30. Oh, it's <clears throat> I'm tired. And you probably tell by the video. But anyway, I'm going to finish this video off by showing you all the car parts I've collected within... Uh, about two weeks now, plus a big one that I went and got this morning. And that was the whole reason for this morning and all the... Let me show you all the uh, stuff I got. Alright. 
All right, I know you can't see me in the video, so from my arms. Um, so basically, I'm gonna walk you through what I got here. Um, first off, I ordered one headlight bucket because the other one was trash from the car, from the rack. Then I ordered this. I ordered the, the um, oh, what's this called? The headlight surround and bezel I, I don't really remember what it's called which came with another headlight bucket which is for the left hand side which is what got hit it also came with a little surrounding piece for it and chrome cover which I still need to order one of these again got some, bolt, got some bolts for everything and, well, that's it for that. But, another thing I got, some hood pins. The other ones I had, you know, they were awesome. They were um, great looking and everything. But I had a problem with the braking. Broke like four of the actual pins while owning the car for, driving the car for a year. So I went ahead and got some thick ones. Just some basic, uh, I think they're like half inch thick aluminum. Uh, they were pretty cheap. That's another reason. The other ones I had were like anywhere from two hundred to three hundred dollars, depending on where you get it from. And I also got some headlights. There's these right here. These are LED on the inside, or the bulb is LED. And I didn't know it when I ordered it, but they're actually like almost like a candy apple or candy. I don't know red of some sort they look really good these were affordable unlike the ones I used to have which are two to three hundred dollars a pair and these were eighty dollars a pair so that's pretty much everything I need for the front end to um, get it back on the road I still need a quarter panel anyway like I was saying I still need a quarter panel for the left rear um, those aren't too expensive. I'll have to pick one up here in the next few weeks and see what goes on. But today's adventure, let's get down to it. What did I get? Well, it's in that great big box right there. And it is a big box. This is size comparison. This is a 7 inch headlight. And I mean, it's a huge box, right? What could be in it? Let's find out. Alright. So, I went and got this big box. Well, I went and got what's inside the big box anyway. So, <coughs> without further ado, let's open it. Disregard the front stuff. It's not what you see in there. So, open her up. This is going to make some of you all very happy. I hope. Because they're expensive. Well, I see some metal parts. First off, there's a big pipe. Um, I was actually given this from guys at work. Um, I give me two this is another one. Depending on which angle I need, you'll figure that out later. Why? But now to the main journey of what I went and got. Put this box to the side. Yeah, y'all can't see it. So anyway, you can kind of see what the top is, right? Some of y'all might know. I hope you know. Yep. We're going single. Not just any single. Big turbo single. This is a 76 millimeter. As far as I can tell. Um, disregard some of the hoses for the internal wastegate it's got on it. It is a Garrett turbocharger. 
um, came off a Detroit 60 diesel big truck big uh, 18 wheeler <clears throat> and they actually upgraded their turbo and I would like to see what they use because so it's a Garrett uh, 76 millimeter came on a lot of Detroit diesels it spins pretty good um, I don't have these clamps on right right now I had it apart at work um, cleaning it out because it had some spider web and stuff in it but this thing's giant so this right here your intake fresh air intake I guess you'd call it is five inches in diameter same with the exhaust port which you can't see because my hands in the way that's also five inches in diameter and this is a big guy big guy for my car anyway so this will be going on eventually and if this doesn't go on something similar to this will but currently this is what we're looking at um, and one of the reasons I like this one other than like some of the other ones you can get from like a like a um, F-250, like a 7.3, is because you can actually clock these, right? You can turn the housing um, 90, 45, you know, basically any degree you want, the way these clamps are set up on both housing, or compressor side and exhaust side. You can also clock the center section individually as well by doing so. Um, but you know enough of that so expect to see more of this in future videos Probably not anytime soon. I mean my city sitting in the background, but um, I'm gonna work on this stuff first Plus I need Save some more money so I can get some more parts for this, but I got a smoking deal on this um, You know these things probably sell for upwards of two grand a three grand brand new and use maybe fifteen hundred bucks well I got it for three hundred dollars and it's only got like thirty thousand miles on it so it's pretty good still um, anyway I'm rambling on now thanks guys y'all have a great one